Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draculic and in this video tutorial I would like to introduce you uh, into the a very very complicated but very useful filter available in GIMP uh, uh, which uh, is called Convolution Matrix Filter and you can think of uh, Convolution Matrix Filter as uh, being a all-in-one filter a one-stop shop for every every effect you probably you might want to to, uh, to get in, inside GIMP uh, it's really complicated it's heavily math based but it's really rewarding if you try to learn how to use it so in order to use this filter all you have to do is to go up here at the to the filters menu here click on that and go down here where it writes generic and select convolution matrix now a a new window pops up with the options you have for convolution matrix filter and actually what you have here is a 5x5 five five matrix and the matrix is nothing more than a arrangement of numbers uh, in the form of raw, rows and columns all right so here we have five rows and we have five columns so we have as we call it a 5x5 five five matrix and uh, you have some other options as well all right and we're going to talk a, a little bit about those options you have but most of the times you don't need more than this area here which is this one two three one two three one two three this three by three sub matrix all right at the center of the five by five uh, you know matrix so uh, you could always use uh, this five by five five matrix if you want some better accuracy and some more complicated some more advanced effects but for most of the cases you don't need you need no, nothing more than this than playing around with this three by three sub matrix here so what how how we actually use this filter what we do is we uh, we, we want to enter uh, values here in this in these boxes here in the three by three sub matrix and depending on the values we are typing in we we'll get an effect all right the, the different effect it's time let me show you how this works by giving you a few examples of this and before uh, getting into better uh, explaining how this works first of all let's go ahead and duplicate our original layer so we have a new layer to work with and now go to the filters generic convolution matrix here we are now presented with this 5x5 five five matrix but I'm going to be using just this 3x3 three three matrix as I told you before so let me type in some numbers and first I, I want to enter the value 1 for this box I'm pressing tab so I'm, I'm moving uh, up to the adjacent box here all right, to the next box and I'm entering the value 1 then I'm pressing tab and I'm uh, moving forward to the next box I'm entering the value 1 and this way I can by tabbing all right I can move forward I'm pressing tab 1 tab tab 1 tab 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 1 tab 1 tab 1 so actually I have entered the value of 1 to those boxes here all right and uh, this results here we have the preview window as you can see into a very bright image i'm going to correct this though by setting the divisor here to nine and this is uh, makes sense because i'm using a a, a three by three matrix so three by three equals nine so let's divide all the values by nine and now what i have here all right is as you can see in the preview uh, window we have a slightly blurred version of our image so what we did is that we uh, we actually made a handmade light blur filter and if I zoom in a little bit you can see this the difference between this um, uh, you know uh, filter and this blur and the and the original image all right so by just typing in some numbers we have changed the uh, the appearance of our layer let's go ahead and delete this layer real quick and let's duplicate the original layer so and go up here to the filters and select reshow convolution matrix and now let's click reset so we can reset our filter to the original one all right so now i'm going to be to be give, I, i'm going to give you a, one more example just for you to see what you can do with this filter and i'm going to be 
actually entering some new numbers here and let me make uh, uh, this box here minus one tab uh, my tab minus one tab minus one tab 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 minus one tab eight tab minus one okay tab 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 minus one tab minus one tab minus one so what i've got here all right let's try the divisor i don't think it works in this case no i don't want the divisor all right so uh, if i click ok i have a very quick edge detection filter so i now have traced the edges of my image here and uh, you can see that by just entering some uh, some uh, numbers uh, typing in some numbers the results are really really so different all right let's go ahead and delete this edge detection uh, you know layer here delete the layer and let's duplicate the original layer and i want to show you yet another example and so show convolution matrix very important before you trying to enter some values for a new filter just click reset so you make sure you have reset the filter so now let's type for example uh, zero minus one uh, tab uh, tab tab uh, minus one tab five tab minus one tab 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 minus one tab excuse me i think this should all right perhaps zero so it's all about the you know the minus one and what we have here is as you can see the number five and four uh, minus one around the number five all right and uh, if i go ahead and click ok and apply the filter i have sharpened my image now if i go ahead i have applied a very simple sharpened filter so if i hide this and compare this to the to the image before you can see the difference now okay so all right let let me now explain you how this works uh let's let me go up here and select the filter show convolution filter and let me show how this works actually what we have here is that we for each one for each and every single pixel of our image we change the number uh, the, the of the value the value of the, this pixel in terms of r gb red green blue uh, you know channels all right yeah we change this with what we call the weighted value of all the surrounded pixels and i'm going to explain you how this works in mathematical terms in just a moment first of all let's go ahead and let's delete this layer here and let's have our uh, original layer here and let's zoom in really close so you can see those pixels here the pixels are those squares here all right so let's say that the pixel in question is this one let's say this one yeah, this one okay so uh, you can imagine this uh, that uh, you can imagine a three by three matrix around this pixel so uh, this pixel has a primarily uh, blue color well uh, the value of as you might know uh, the color in uh, in uh, digital photography in digital imaging uh, the color is nothing more than a set of uh, numbers all right so uh, the blue color here has a number a value all right between zero that means dark black no blue at all to 255 which means uh, full, fully saturated blue so i want for this pixel to change the value with the uh, weighted value of all the surrounded pixels the surrounding pixels which uh, create this three by three matrix okay so uh, when i'm entering the values here in the uh, in the uh, in the convolution matrix filter all right take a look at here well what i'm actually do is i'm multiplying two matrices and the one matrix is the this matrix with the value of the colors all right and the other matrix is this matrix with the values that i have set inside the filter so practically i take the value of blue for this box here which is on the upper left compared relative to the pixel in question and i'm multiplying this with the upper left box of this three by three sub matrix then i'm adding to this to this product i'm adding the uh, the product of multiplying the top middle uh, the value of blue here in the top middle 
uh, you know box or pixel here excuse me with the top middle box value here in the in the matrix in the 3 by 3 matrix then I'm adding to this the product of the multiplication of the of the of multiplying this upper right this upper right pixel value of blue with this uh, value which is zero upper right value in the three by three matrix and so on and so forth and I'm going and I'm I, I'm adding all those products for all this this way for all these three rows here rows of this uh, three by three matrix this is how a three by three matrices multiplication works so the sum of all those values is what is is going to be the new value for the pixel at the center the pixel in question so just now imagine that computer that gimp is repeating the same procedure for each and every single one of those pixels here and the result is the effect that we can see as an output okay does that make sense so uh, there is a lot of math behind but once you get the hang of it you can make really you can have all the effects you want in just one place so uh, most of the times of course uh, you want to write uh, either either try to find by your own uh, the uh, i mean the the patterns here of this matrix i mean the values or you want to use some preset for the matrix here uh, that you can find in various uh, places over the internet for example so let me give you a simple example of this uh, and uh, let's uh, say that this is our uh, pixel in question the convolution kernel and this is our matrix three by three matrix and i want to multiply those two and uh, according to the laws of uh, to the rules of mathematics uh, i have to do this uh, a series here of uh, you know of uh, multiplications and uh, and uh, addings and uh, this will result into the value minus 29 for my uh, pixel and now this is going to be the new value for the uh, pixel so the the pixel in question with the value 31 will now be replaced is going to be replaced by the value to minus 29 and this is a simple example of an edge detection uh, convolution matrix uh, filter well now that we know the maths behind the uh, convolution uh, matrix filter let's go ahead and explain how this works uh, with a few uh, simple examples here so uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, let's input the uh, the blur you know set uh, the blur set of values for blur effect all right and let's go first and click reset for the uh, filter and let's go ahead and make all the values here to be uh, one all right and this results into a very bright image as you can see in the preview window already uh, my image become is becoming you know very bright and this is because uh, if you if you recall now this this example with the pixel in question imagine this is the pixel in question and and uh, I want to actually uh, replace each value with the weighted value of uh, all the uh, surrounding pixels through the use of multiplication of matrices as I described you uh, just before so I will multiply this one with the upper left one okay uh, with the value of the upper left pixel all right relative to the pixel in question at the center then I will add to this the uh, multiplication the product of multiplying this middle uh, box here by the value of the blue color of this middle uh, top middle pixel relative again uh, to the pixel of in question and so on so forth and then I, I'm, I'm continuing to the second row and then to the third row and I'm summing up I'm adding all those uh, you know products and the result is going to be the weighted value for uh, for the uh, pixel in question which is this pixel at the center so as you as you can easily imagine uh, all this uh, because we have all those positive numbers here the resulting brightness will be this very very bright image we are going to have a very very high uh, bright uh, brightness value that's why it's the divisor 4 so by setting the divisor to let's say 9 all I'm doing is that I am dividing each one of those values here uh, by one, 
one ninth of the original value, which results into a sum of values of one. All right, so I have kept the original brightness at the same level because I have divided each one of those factors here by nine. Now, if some for some reason we have negative, uh, you know, uh, brightness and our Im image becomes darker, then you have the offset value. So by setting the offset to let's say 50, you can have a brightness image. So this offset here uh, works as a uh, actually it can you know adjust the overall brightness if you had a very very uh, you know uh, darkened image uh, because due to the uh, to the maths here in the pixels here all right so this border option now well this has to do with how gimp uh, you know uh, deals with uh, uh, or manages the uh, pixels that are kind of found near the border when you make a change to the convolution kernel well gimp can just take the pixels that have been altered uh, in some uh, somehow and the it, 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 if if the extend option is uh, enabled it's going to duplicate those pixels all right uh, all the way up to the to the to the border so we have a, an interpolation of, uh, of that sort uh, but if I would choose the wrap for example option then it's going to do and duplicate the bottom pixels and bring them to the top and uh, here you have the channels red green and blue this is very very simple uh, you just want to uh, to set here which channels your filter are, is going to be affecting sometimes although you would like to uh, limit this filter to just one or two of those three channels but uh, most of the times you you want to have all those three channels enabled and the normalize option uh, when you have normalized uh, no divisor or offset uh, are taken into account so in a nutshell this is how the convolution filter works and uh, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned something from this if you like this don't forget to subscribe see you next time with a hopefully interesting topic hopefully soon until then have fun and goodbye